Okay, this is a uh, simple video that just goes through some data analysis and what we're going to do is take a uh, take some daily gas prices. Okay, and uh, match them up with uh, on and off peak electricity prices just use the match in the index and use a little bit of uh, average uh, average if to uh, uh, to summarize the data so let's put gas price now that what I would do you can of course do this in one go but I would just whoops first use the match command and always tie a date against a whole column of dates. So uh, this means that this, uh, I should put gas price row. Okay, so that's step one. You could put the match in index. Of course, anybody fancy would do that, but I, I think it's okay to leave it separately. And then we can put the gas price. Okay, and then we just put index and click on the entire uh, column of gas prices and just click on this and just that quickly we've used the match and the index and I uh, press shift F9 to uh, recalculate it and then now what we can do is let, why don't we make a graph of this um, how about this? I'm going to cheat. I'll do it kind of silly, but uh, I think it's it's worthwhile to. Uh, why don't we why don't we make a graph of the on peak price, the off peak price of electricity, and the date? So let's start with the date and press Shift Control three. column and uh, then let's put the uh, uh, on peak and the off peak okay just press shift F9 again to recalculate <sighs> shade the area as usual and press F11 make the graph if we press F11 it makes another exactly the same graph if you want to copy it why don't we uh, m format this as a uh, in the secondary axis you can see the correlation, the clear correlation between electricity and natural gas. Uh, I'm going to uh, change these two uh, to lines as well. And then why don't we uh, show you just how easy it is now to, uh, whoops, to make a, a a monthly chart rather than a, a annual or this is a day by day chart why don't we instead make a month by month chart so to do that the, this is what we graphed um, why don't we it's as simple as the following done it here but I'm gonna do it again to show you the key to, to summarizing it by month is to use the EO month and just take the date and put the end of the month on each each uh, 
whoops on each for each date okay so we first and I, I think I already did that here but but I'll show it again now once we have the end of the month then I cheated I put the month by month things here and we have the on and the off peak so let's just get the uh, I went too far here in just a minute uh, why don't we put the uh, gas price and if you noticed the command the function here is simply average if if you just take average if and then you uh, start with the end of the month that's the big trick and then you go over to this which has an end of the month as well and then you just click on the gas price then we can get the 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 uh, month by month gas price why don't we click on that and I think if we let's just press shift alternate right arrow and not show this so now we can uh, make another graph of the uh, gas price versus the electricity price and uh, let's again put this on the secondary axis and uh, the color is of course horrible and then I'm going to be uh, finished with this analysis okay enough of that